Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Kenny Wallace Show, brought to you by JEGS, the leader in high-performance aftermarket car parts. Remember to go to JEGS.com for everything and anything you need for your vehicles. I'm not believing it. So we have this wonderful Chicago street course race and a New Zealander won, SVG won from New Zealand. He's a three-time champion in the Super V8 car series. And I hear this undertone. You start looking on social media. Oh, how embarrassing NASCAR drivers get beat. NASCAR drivers aren't the best. Well, we're going to use the old Herminator saying right here. By God, we're going to de-bullshit this. Who is the best? Is that the way you think? You know, I don't know what's going on lately. But for some reason, there are some Americans that want to make fun of Americans. America sucks. What's wrong with all of you people? What's going on with you? What is this undertone I'm seeing? Oh, I mean, I think it's a reverse psychology deal where a lot of you don't like NASCAR drivers because it's the big series. You know, sometimes the dad is the dad and you just got to admit he's the dad. And the big brother is the big brother. And listen, I look up to my brother, Rusty. He's good. He's better than me. And I think sometimes when you just realize that NASCAR is the show. Remember, I once asked Chip Ganassi, I said, Chip, you've won the Indy 500. You've, got, you've had Juan Pablo as your driver. Why are you running in NASCAR? Chip Ganassi answered me simply by saying, Kenny Wallace, NASCAR is the show. That's where it's all at. All right? So let's break it down. Let's start right now. I'm going to answer all of you. NASCAR drivers ought to be embarrassed. They got beat. First of all, the drivers don't think like that. So here we go. Fact. NASCAR is the second largest racing association on global earth. Billions of people. I'll give it to Formula One. Formula One they put their race cars in jet airplanes and, hey, we're racing in Dubai or now we're going to Japan. And, oh, my Lord, we, we go up the road 100 miles and we think we're doing something. All of you. Oh, boy, I don't know. That's an hour and a half drive. Oh, I'm exhausted. These Formula One guys are putting their race cars in jets, flying them across planet global Earth. So Formula One's number one. I'll give it to you. But by God, NASCAR is number two, and it is the biggest form of full-bodied race cars in the world. So I understand you all get your feelings hurt. Dirt racing's words, I had. <laughs> cool. Hey, I love dirt racing, but there's it, it's a small group. It's dirt racing is awesome. I do it. I love it. All right, here, here, here here's my super late model. I've won 108 dirt races. I've won at Eldora. We've interviewed Jonathan Davenport, Brad Sweet, Nick. I'm as redneck dirt racing as you can get. But I'm sorry. Dirt racing is a pimple on your ass. It is so small. It's ridiculous. NASCAR is so big, it pisses you all off. Did I say two cuss words? No, because they're not. A donkey is an ass. All right. So... <laughs> Are the New Zealand drivers, did they embarrass the NASCAR drivers? Well, first of all, NASCAR is number one. You don't see the NASCAR drivers going over to New Zealand run these Super 8, v, you know, these Super V8 cars. All right, you, you don't see NASCAR drivers going over there. However, you do see Formula One drivers. You do see the V8 supercar guys. You see them so badly wanting to come here. So number one right there, NASCAR wins. Because every, like Chip Ganassi said, everybody wants to come to the NASCAR. Why? It's the show. It's huge. It's big. It, it, it's, it just is. It's big. Okay. Now, SVG comes over here and wins. And you think it's, you know, you're not looking at it as cool. You're looking at it as, oh. Well, first of all, the next-gen car, it was patterned after 
the V8 supercar. It was Steve Phelps last night on Sunday night that said, look, we patterned this car after that series. If you remember, Roger Penske went over there, started a, a V8 team up with Marco Ambrose. When Marco Ambrose left here and went back to Australia, Roger Penske started a team. Remember, V8 Super Series, it, you got NASCAR over here and over there. It's V8 Super Series. So that's their NASCAR over there. But they deem on Globe Earth, they deem NASCAR as the show. But that's what they do. So those guys, that's all they do. They run those cars and that's all they do. They don't run Eldora on dirt. They don't run Daytona or Talladega. They don't run ovals. So SVG and those drivers over there. Now he said that the top 10 could have won and outrun the NASCAR drivers. Listen, I agree. That's all they do. That's what they do. They are very good at their craft. They are awesome. Listen, if you go back to dirt racing, Steve Kinzer or Sammy Swindell, they came to NASCAR. They got their ass whipped because they came too late, and that's not what they do. So if you do one thing long enough, you're going to be good at it. SVG came from the back to the front and did a good job. And you know what? All the other NASCAR drivers, they loved it. Let me tell you a quick story about the way you feel. I was with Dale Earnhardt Sr., and Sr. was a big race fan. We watched Nigel Mansell get done racing in Formula One. He came over here to America and run IndyCar. Now, isn't that funny? Formula One's the greatest, but yet Nigel Mansell wanted to try IndyCar. He struggled the first couple races, half a year. And I was standing right next to Dale Sr. when he said it. He says, you give Nigel Mansell just a little more time, he's going to figure it out. Because greatness recognizes greatness, okay? So when you see a good driver, you might be jealous, but down, down deep, you're like, damn, that guy's good. So to put it to bed, you know, these New Zealanders, these Australians, they call them the Kiwi Bunch right there in the same area. They're good at the Super V8 cars. Listen, most of their races are street courses. So to put it to bed, uh, let's go on down the road here a little more. I just really believe the nod is going to go to NASCAR drivers. So by God, you all were making fun of NASCAR drivers. Oh, NASCAR drivers thought they were the world's best. No, they never thought so. They never thought they were the world's best. You thought that. But I will say this. I was on a jet airliner. 98, 1998, 1999. And I'm going to, I'm going to, Leave you with this, 1988, 1999, 2000, right around there. I was on a big airplane, commercial airliner with Dale Earnhardt Sr., Rusty Wallace. And NASCAR raced three times in Japan. Two years in a row at Suzuka Circuit, and we ended up at Motegi. So to think this downtown deal was a big deal, well, we did it when Dale Sr. was alive. But for some reason, when we lost Dale Sr., you're thinking, we need to go back to the old days. Well, back then, when Earnhardt was living, I'm sorry, we went to Japan. We're in a new world. The nod goes to NASCAR drivers. NASCAR drivers are the best. And here's why. Write it down. Because they all want to come race with us. You don't see it the other way around. Number two, we race everything. We race road courses, ovals. Uh, you see what we did at the roll at Charlotte? We're calling audibles. NASCAR's changing it. They're going to make you like them. It's been 15 years of misery. I hate NASCAR. Why? Because I wish the old days were here. They're gone. My dad's dead. My dad's gone. I can't help it. I'm sad. But I'm not mad at everybody like you all are. NASCAR drivers are the best in the world because they do it all and everybody wants to come here. End of story. Woo! <laughs> that was fun, Hermanator. All right. Well, I gave you my opinion. Remember, that was a loaded one right there. Respond here. Go at it with me. I love it. I want to hear what makes your brains 
mad at NASCAR drivers. They never said they were great. You're the one saying that. Respond right here. And remember, we are in podcast form. Spotify, iTunes, the Kenny Wallace Show. It's too long. Well, on your way to work, listen to half. And on, when you leave work and go home, listen to the other half. Until then, Kenny Wallace Show just keeps on rolling. I believe Kenny Conversations are... Kenny Conversations over there. That's that real serious guy. There's this guy, the Kenny Wallace Show, then the Kenny Conversation, and then the crazy one. There could be four of me. Oh, no. All right, everybody. Until next time.